and now City escaped the Chelsea press such as it was and now they get to the halfway line and City have it with Lewis and now Mares. Mares now attacking down the right hand side plays it back towards Gundogan Gundogan helps it on to De Bruyne De Bruyne down the center outside to Grealish Grealish into the area and City score and Riyad Mares, who's only been on the field about two minutes puts Manchester City in front Silva steps away, it's Mares, he's going for goal and he finds it! Top corner from Riyad Mares! He scored again against Chelsea in the Premier League, it was a tap-in at the back post. In the FA Cup, it's a swerving free kick, top bins. Julian Alvarez steps up to take the penalty, Kepa guesses the right way but there's no keeping that out. It's hit low and true by Julian Alvarez. And the World Cup winner takes City one step closer to progress in the FA Cup. Here's Gomez. Palmer pulls over to the left. Gomez second time around finds Palmer. Here's Rodri. Great passing play from Manchester City. Controlled perfectly by Mares, plays to Walker and it's turned in. What a brilliant goal that is from Manchester City. He's had a couple of high profile penalty misses as of late. Mares sets his sights on goal. And Mares scores 4 0 to Manchester City. Riyad Mahrez places the ball into the net. Now Mahrez with some space down the right. Plays it in field, good ball. De Bruyne into the area, clicks in the cross and City are in front! It was coming! Jack Grealish, absolutely brilliant from City. You could sense it, it's been happening for the last three or four minutes. You could see United weren't coping any longer. And the Blues in front, Jack Grealish. One clipped in, ball has dropped here, and it's fired into the net. Game on. Julian Alvarez drives home. Five minutes after the restart. Manchester City have come out all guns blazing and they have pulled the goal back. Alvarez goes around the referee. Beating Uwe Lloris, it's like the World Cup all over again. Lifted over here, into the box, there's the header, there's Haaland, 2-2! Erling Haaland scores! Both strikers on the score sheet in the space of five minutes. Taken away here by Riyad Mahrez, Mahrez into the box, Mahrez with the step over, low drive from him, Mahrez scores, an incredible goal! Skill, placement and power, and a low drive to meet Hugo Lloris. Manchester City have turned things around. They are 3-2 up against Tottenham Hotspur. This can be passed upon by Mahrez. Mahrez goes through, lifted over the goalkeeper, and Manchester City sealed the victory with some smash and grab stuff that concludes a truly phenomenal second half from 2-0 down Manchester City go 4-2 up Roderick plays it out wide to Mares. Mares up against Buena can he get beyond Buena plays it in field to Bruyne Haaland 1-0 absolutely superb Kevin De Bruyne moves to 97 Premier League assists with a cross into the area and Erling Haaland doesn't need asking twice. Runs forward and scores very, very easily, sending Jose Zar the wrong way and Erling Haaland is on yet another Manchester City hat-trick. Oh, they've given it away, Mahrez! Oh, he's given it to Haaland for a hat-trick.
Well, Mahrez could have scored, but he decided, you know what, I'll give it to my strike partner. And Erling Haaland has his fourth Manchester City hat-trick. And goes for goal, it's off the post, it comes to Grealish. He doesn't shoot first time, he's still got the defender Tommy Asso in front of him. It's back to Ake, Ake goes for goal! Nathan Ake has scored for Manchester City! With a low strike inside the right post. After the left post had been smashed into by a shot from Julian Alvarez. Well headed! Towards goal by Rodri, Emi Martinez can only push it into his own net. And City take the lead after just four minutes, it's Rodri with the goal. KDP. To put it into the path of Haaland, Haaland will win out the foot race. He's the only player forward, now the cavalry has arrived, Erling Haaland will get this across, it's finished up at the back post by Ilka Goodwin, that one will stand. Manchester City make it 2-0 against Aston Villa. Kick for City and dispatches 3-0 as Riyad Mahrez fires home. It's a terrible back pass, and City will score! And it's incredible! I was just praising Tomiyasu. He played an absolutely dreadful back pass. And Kevin De Bruyne locked it over the advancing Ramsdale, who was in no man's land. And City lead by a goal to nil. Plays it forward. Haaland's on the chase. Haaland towards the edge of the area. In towards Gundogan. And now Grealish! 2-1 City! Beautifully worked! One side of the pitch to the other! He goes over to the City fans! Oh, I thought he was going to take his shirt off! I was screaming, don't do it! He'll get booked and sent off! He doesn't! He celebrates! 2-1 City! Gundogan has options, on it goes to De Bruyne, cross the face of the goal! Assist from De Bruyne, goal from Erling Haaland, Arsenal 1, City 3, there's daylight and the top of the table beckons. Foden into the middle, it's headed away. As Bernardo Silva was challenging for it, this is Grealish. Bernardo Silva sets up the strike! Oh, it's a belter from Bernardo Silva! to open the scoring on 40 minutes. Perfectly hit by the Portuguese. Greenish. He's found his way through to Mares. There's the opening. From a deft touch from Jack Grealish. Mares is played through. This time, no question, he was onside. As he had a free run through on goal. Interception there by Rico Lewis. Alvarez. Gundogan brings it back onto his right foot. Sticks that over. It's Foden trying to run the goalkeeper. There's the follow up. It's off the post. And into the net from Julian Alvarez. A poacher's goal from the Argentine. Manchester City take the lead. Another ball down the line, this one. Finds Gundogan, Gundogan plays towards the back post, Foden's looking for it, it's there for Haaland, and it's in from Haaland. Clear there by Neto. And back here, finds his way to Foden. Foden just has to finish, and he takes his chance. Phil Foden scores for Manchester City on the stroke of half time. Foden down the line. 
Driven back by Rico Lewis. Neto gets that half clear and it's turned across the line. Julian Alvarez gets his second goal. The defender tried to stop it inside the six yard box, but to no avail. Monash wants the one two, gets the ball back from Kevin De Bruyne. Early cross from him to the back post, and that is the opening goal for Manchester City. Phil Foden finishes off the team move. Grealish was onside. It was Ake. Ake cuts it back, maybe could have gone for a finish of his own. And it's set up there for a low drive. It's a second goal this time from the right hand side from Phil Foden. Preston City still with that high press. How's things stand? They're on their way out of the. FA Cup and they're going to lose for the first time in 2023. So they look for a third goal and they find it through Kevin De Bruyne. A well-placed strike from the Belgian as the defence backed off him. KDB makes it three on 80 minutes at Ashton Gate. Rodri changes the angle of the play, Foden wide on the right-hand side, comes in, keeps on coming in, keeps on coming, that is a brilliant goal, one of the best of the season, Phil Foden drifted in from the right-hand side, he got past two or three Newcastle defenders as if they weren't there, and he just put it beyond the reach of Nick Pope. The ball is in the possession of Willock. Back it goes, but Ake wins it well, and Gundogan pokes it on, and Grealish is beyond Trippier, and Grealish into the penalty area. Haaland, Bernardo Silva, 2-0! Bernardo Silva with a wonderful, wonderful finish. He's not been on the field very long, but he doesn't have to be on the field long to get up to pace, and put City 2-0 up. Haaland against Guaita. Haaland scores 1 0 to Manchester City with little time for Crystal Palace to respond. Haaland sends the goalkeeper the wrong way. Haaland backs up, it will be a short run up. And a goal for Manchester City. Blasfit guesses the right way. Haaland too precise with his strike. Plastic tries to send a long ball forward there. Haaland's headed down. Here's Kevin De Bruyne. De Bruyne with the shot off the crossbar. It's headed in by Haaland. 2-0. Two, two goals in as many minutes. It's Erling Haaland. Off the rocket from Kevin De Bruyne. Following it in is Erling Haaland to score. Well swung in. It's the header from Hubert Diaz. It's fallen loose. Haaland's put it across the line. It may have been on the line already. It's Gundogan. Gundogan scores. Ilkay Gundogan had a couple of opportunities in the first half, which he sent over the crossbar. Cross comes over, it's Bernardo Silva with the header to the back post. Haaland heads down and drills the follow-up in. It's four goals for Haaland. Short cross in, it's another save from Plastic and another goal from Erling Haaland. A five-star performance from the striker. Kevin De Bruyne, right-footed bending effort. KDB gets his goal.
Played through to Haaland, he's through on goal. Haaland knocks it across the line. The man who can't stop scoring does it again. And it's Erling Haaland who makes it 1-0 to Manchester City. Haaland is forward again. Haaland might reach this. 2-0. Erling Haaland with another goal. He scores them in pairs or more, ably assisted by his teammates. This time around, it's Phil Foden who sets him up. Foden, left footed strike from Foden off the post, there's the follow up from Erling Haaland and there is another hat trick for the Manchester City striker. Pep Guardiola is about to bring on Cole Palmer, will it be Haaland who makes way? He's forward for this attack as Kevin De Bruyne bears down on goal. Taps that across for Alvarez. 4-0 to Manchester City. This is Foden. Foden tries to bring one across. Goalkeeper tips it and is put in by Cole Palmer. 5-0 and it's the second half substitute Cole Palmer. Who joins in the scoring? Played around the back of the defence. Running after this is Alvarez. He bears down on goal. Puts the defender on his backside and slams the ball into the net. What a goal that is for Julian Alvarez. To make it a sensational six. Sublime from Alvarez. Here come the Blues with Mares. He's taking on Van Dyke. He keeps on going. On to Gundogan. Into the gap for Grealish. Grealish! Alvarez! 1 1. That is a magnificent goal. That is truly wonderful. A team's gaps to be exploited. And Julian Alvarez makes it 1 1. Ake plays it to Grealish. Grealish in towards Alvarez. Alvarez sweeps it forward down the right-hand side and Mares should get to this and he will do and it's into the box and De Bruyne what a start to City's second half Mares round the back De Bruyne on the half volley Mares into the penalty area plays it across can't get it to Alvarez Alvarez it's blocked Gundogan 3-1 City three, Liverpool one, Ilkay Gundogan, two goals in nine minutes and Liverpool are being swept away. Now Gundogan, beautiful ball, changes the angle, on it goes, De Bruyne's in the area, looking up for the right pass, Grealish, magnificent, you'll not see a better team goal than that. I'm afraid I didn't count the passes, but one thing I can count is the number of goals. And City lead four goals to one. Greenish picks up the loose one. City still in the final third here. A little bit of space out wide for De Bruyne. De Bruyne now with a bending cross. Holland! 1 0 City! De Bruyne gets his 100th Premier League assist. Of course he does! And Erling Haaland gets the goal. He's 29th of the Premier League season. He's 43rd of the campaign. And the Blues lead by one goal to nil. So he got it with Haaland on the halfway line. And he finds De Bruyne. And De Bruyne into the gap for Grealish. Grealish now, one on one. Good save for Zunu. Fires in the rebound. Southampton nil. City two. And this marvellous run of form for Jack Grealish. He's involved in goals. And he's got another one for City. And at a crucial point in this season. And of course in this particular game. City now have a commanding two goal advantage. As Grealish comes forward in the left wing position, taking on Bednarek into the penalty area, he goes, clips it on. Haaland! That is a stunning finish from Erling Haaland. He assumes that famous yoga pose 
And City have the three points, and Erling Haaland is two-thirds the way to his first away hat-trick as a Manchester City player. Whistle from Rob Jones. Penalty into the corner of the net. Stones in the middle third, but now just in the final third. On it goes to Bernardo Silva. On to Rodri on the edge of the area. Rodri, maybe a shooting chance. Tries it, scores! Rodri with an absolute peach. A bending left one shot into the corner of the net. First blood City, City one, Bayern nil. A Rodri Rasper. And now City win it back, and now Haaland's onto it. Haaland clips it across. Bernardo Silva! City 2, Bayern Munich 0. Magnificent from Erling Haaland. Bayern Munich sucked towards the ball, and Haaland clipped it to the far side. And Bernardo Silva heads it into the roof of the net. Manchester City 2, Bayern Munich 0. City have the ball and it's a deep cross looking towards Stones and Haaland! 3-0! City in dreamland! Bayern Munich can't believe it! They're looking at each other, they say, what were we doing? And the answer is, they weren't marking anybody. And City lead by three goals to nil. And you just have to say that they only just escaped moments earlier. Now they've been punished. He hits it very deep, Haaland's furthest over, Faz gets to it, he's a giant of a man. Back in by Grealish, helped on by Stones, and then Rodri, and then Stones hits a left foot shot! And City lead! There might be a question of offside here, there might just be a question of offside. No, he's not No, on. I think he's on, John yeah. Stones, and I think it will count. John Stones did a left foot volley into the corner of the net, and VAR have just confirmed that he was onside. He steps up and puts it in the corner, and City lead by two goals to nil, and the Blues are already in total command. And De Bruyne scampers away, on Didi's at him, on he goes to Haaland, City on the counter, De Bruyne, can he find the right pass? On it goes to Haaland, Haaland up against Upper McConnor who slips, Haaland's in, scores, 4-0 on aggregate, tie over surely! Erling Haaland may have missed the penalty, but he wasn't going to miss that. Upper Meccano lost his footing at the vital moment. Haaland threw on goal, put it beyond the goalkeeper's reach. Those who've made the trip from Manchester, absolutely delirious. City lead 1-0. Can Mares give City the lead? The answer is most definitely yes. Fodringham goes one way, Mares tucks it in the other. Here comes Mares, darting towards the edge of the area. Oh, he's all the way through and scored! Well, I never. He must have run 60 metres there, Riyad Mares. Sheffield United's defenders either didn't challenge him or didn't want to challenge him. And they just melted away in front of him. And Mares ran all the way through and passed it out of the reach of Wes Fodringham. On it goes to Sergio Gomez and out wide to Grealish. Grealish now up against Baldock and Berger. Tries to go in between the two of them. And Mares gets his hat trick. Layoff from Grealish. First time in step finish from Riyad Mares. That is a sweet, sweet finish. And City lead by three goals to nil. And I suspect, barring something quite unbelievable, City fans, book your trips for Wembley. We're back here again in June. De Bruyne is advancing and De Bruyne keeps on going and hits it into the back of the net. What a sensational goal. Kevin De Bruyne off the layoff from Haaland. He raced. 40 metres and slid his shot almost like a pass into the corner of the net. City 1, Arsenal 0. What a start! Floats it in. 
And there's an unmarked header, and City is offside. Wait for the noise. It's coming. De Bruyne now in the penalty area, and that is the end of the night for Arsenal. Haaland with the assist, De Bruyne with the side foot. The Blues are in cruise control. Foden on the edge of the area, on to Haaland, 4-1. What was I saying, that it was a night when Haaland's going to get two assists but no goal? I must have been out of my mind. Erling Haaland steps up, puts it into the corner of the net. Was it in any doubt? Certainly not in my mind, certainly not in Erling Haaland's. And on it goes now to Alvarez. Alvarez still on the ball near the edge of the D. Hits a shot into the net. Julian Alvarez got the ball on the edge of the D. Rode a couple of challenges and hit it into the back of the goal. Pops it into the area. It's uh, headed in. Nathan Ake. It's taken a set piece, but the Blues are in front. And West Ham, who are the masters of attacking set pieces, have been undone by a City one. On it goes to Grealish. Grealish on to Haaland. Haaland's through on goal. 2 0 City. Had to be. Haaland doesn't miss those. And now he becomes the first player in Premier League history to hit 35 goals in a season. And the Blues lead by two goals to nil. with the outswinging ball, it's cleared, Foden hits it, oh my goodness me, Phil Foden, you little beauty, he's just hit a volley from 22 metres out into the back of the West Ham net, it was a thing of beauty. On it goes to Gundogan, Gundogan, City 1, Leeds 0, Captain Fantastic's got himself another important City goal and the Blues domination converts to the opening goal. Mares on it goes to Gundogan, similar position from which he scored and he's repeated the dose. Ilkay Gundogan doubles his money, City 2, Leeds 0. Two very similar finishes from Ilkay Gundogan. Grealish now tries to get into the penalty area. Gundogan on the half turn, lays it off. De Bruyne hits the shot and City are level at the Bernabeu. The crowd are silent except for a pocket of City supporters who are going absolutely wild with joy. A wonderful strike from Kevin De Bruyne. Real Madrid won, City won. Never ever rule out the Blues. Pops in a bending cross, and what a chance for Ilkay Gundogan! Oh, wow! Ilkay Gundogan! When it comes to the month of May, he pops up with vital goals, and he's done so again. And on the celebration of his 300th appearance as a Manchester City player, when the Blues needed a goal, Ilkay Gundogan, an unseen run, and a finish that was sublime. City are now looking for a second themselves and Haaland will score it! A cross from the left-hand side, Haaland got away from his marker and headed it and Pickford's weight was going the wrong way, he couldn't keep it out and in the space of about two and a half minutes, City are now 2-0 up.
It's a direct free kick and Gundogan's popped it into the net. City lead 3-0, as simple as that. Two for Gundogan, three for City. Two goals this week, two goals last week. An assist as well today. Ilkay Gundogan celebrates 300 games for City in style. Bernardo Silva up against Camavinga. Camavinga into the gap for Stones. Stones forced away from goal. Plays it backwards to Walker. Walker now onto De Bruyne on the edge of the area. Into the gap for Bernardo Silva. 1-0. Manchester City lead Real Madrid. To say that that was coming is one of the greatest understatements of all time. It's been a battery and City lead at last. Grealish into the gap, real chance for Gundogan, and it might break for Bernardo Silva! City 2, Real Madrid 0! Bernardo Silva is worth his weight in gold! And uh, De Bruyne is going to take this free kick. He whips it in at pace, and... Oh, it's an own goal, I think! Or is it? It doesn't matter, it's 3-0 to City. The Kanji came across. Real Madrid couldn't get to it, it's in the back of the, the Real Madrid net and City lead by three goals to nil. It's in the possession of Mares. Mares darts forward, on it goes to Foden, on towards Alvarez! We're all going to Istanbul on June the 10th! Book your flights! It's a dream night for City! The champions of the UEFA Champions League have been absolutely destroyed by City on a night we will never forget. City 4, Real Madrid 0, 5-1 on aggregate. It's City versus Inter for the Champions League. Phillips. Here's Palmer with Foden moving up to his left. It's Alvarez! And the party is well and truly underway. World Cup winner, Premier League winner, and on Manchester City's day of celebration, it's Alvarez who breaks the deadlock. through on goal he's got Steele in front of him he gets round Steele he lays it off to Foden and Foden puts City in front and Foden with his stunning record against Brighton has now scored against them for the sixth time in his career and City lead by one goal to nil it's inevitable I guess that one day we'd have an all Manchester final the last time these two met here in the competition City have scored already, the ball into the box, and Ilkay Gundogan tops it in. It was just one of those moving around moments, it set up for the volley, and Ilkay Gundogan connected on the edge of the area, and City are in front, inside, 16 seconds. The play is deep, very deep, Gundogan hits a volley, and it's gone in! me, Ilkay Gundogan has scored two volleys from outside the area and City are back in front, it's 2-1. Amazing, it's about set piece here as we talked about what City do, De Bruyne didn't sting it in, he hung it up right out of the far corner, it was almost like a Kung Fu kick from Ilkay Gundogan, he just waited, it wasn't his right but it was left, but it went through a crowd, it's got to be saved surely now to De Gea's right. Okay, Gundogan yet again in ball for City. Akanji advances, Akanji in the gap, good ball, Bernardo Silva round the back, no, nobody there. Rodri, 1-0! Yes! Rodri, 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 yes! it's Rodri! City 1, it's a nil, the blue! are in dreamland Rodri 
he scored his first ever UEFA Champions League goal to beat Bayern Munich at the Etihad Stadium. He's just weighed in with his second. Bernardo Silva in the gap, ball to the back of the area, and Rodri took his time. I tell you what, to be that calm, he doesn't smack it, he side feels it. In step, just feels in it the brilliant. Corner. Into the corner. City yeah. one, into nil, it's on the treble. Brilliant from Foden, he's left party in his way and he's scampering forward and he's played it out to the right and Tierney won't get to it and Palmer's in there and Palmer hits the shot and City lead in the Community Shield. Cole Palmer, City won, Arsenal nil. Cole Palmer honours a substitute. Corner that's drilled in low, Phil Foden's kept it alive. He Keeps it towards Bernardo Silva, De Bruyne puts in a second cross, it's deep, Rodri pulls away and City do score! Haaland's first touch of the new Premier League season finds its way into the back of the Burnley net. I'm absolutely gobsmacked, but at the same time not the least bit surprised that his first touch of the new season finds the back of the net. City appear to have got control of this match again after a three or four minute spell in which Burnley had a few good moments. Now, down the right-hand side, Walker crossing position, on it goes to Alvarez, near the penalty spot, Haaland hits the back of the net! Can you believe it? Of course you can believe it! It's Erling Haaland again! First time effort, left foot shot, underside of the bar, into the back of the net, normal service resumed. Foden delivers and there's a bit of a tangle and Ake almost gets there and Rodri does! Well, I've been singing his praises since the very start of the game. He has an assist, now he has a goal. He's been absolutely outstanding today. And it goes to Rodri. Rodri outside to Foden, Foden in the penalty area. Back it goes to Rodri. Rodri pops in the ball. Good ball, Palmer, 1-1! One, one. Cole Palmer! got away from his marker and cushioned a header beyond the outstretched arms of Bunu. Lovely ball in from the left-hand side and Cole Palmer has made it 1-1 here. Kovacic into the gap, good ball, Foden takes it on the edge of the area. Alvarez shooting position, 1-0 City, brilliant finish, Julian Alvarez, superb! It was a marvellous spin into his possession and Julian Alvarez thumped it full-blooded, a little piece of it from Pope, but he couldn't stop it. Kovacic wide to Grealish, Grealish up against Baldock, Baldock on that yellow card, can't dive in, Grealish trying to tempt him in, he's in the penalty area, Grealish, little dink over the top, Haaland 1-0, had to come, if at first you don't succeed, try, try, try again, and Erling Haaland buries the header in the back of the goal, it was magnificent from Jack Grealish, classic wing play. And Walker keeps it on on the far, chance to deliver again. Walker looking up onto Foden and then hit by Rodri and City retake the lead. Rodri, left foot drive into the roof of the net. Sheffield United had barely enjoyed the celebrations for more than a minute and Rodri rifles it in. City 2, Sheffield United 1. Kanji helps it on to Kovacic. Kovacic now into the gap for Haaland. Haaland in a shooting position. Alvarez, 1-0. Ball into the channel for Haaland. Haaland slid it into Alvarez. And Alvarez, who scored home and away against Fulham last season, has done so again. Outswinging ball. Ake's header, 2-1. Corner from the left and Ake plants the header in the goal. The ball's with Rodri, Rodri into the gap for Alvarez, on towards Haaland, Haaland through and scores! And City lead by three goals to one, and just for a moment Fulham's concentration wavered. Alvarez into Haaland, and Haaland just gliding it past the advancing Leno, 
Now, Haaland scores. No problem at all. Leno went the wrong way. Haaland dispatched it into the opposite corner. Haaland's on another City hat trick, and the Blues lead 4 1. Andy yeah, Morrison. terrific penalty. Terrific penalty. The power and the mind strength. What a terrific penalty. Bernardo Silva out wide to Sergio Gomez. Gomez on towards Lewis. Lewis followed by Diop, goes to Sergio Gomez. Can he cross it? Well, he decides not to. Comes inside Sergio Gomez. On it goes to Haaland! The perfect end to the day. It's an Erling Haaland hat-trick. It's his first of the season. It's his seventh for City. Gomez does brilliant. You know, but if you can watch the movement of Haaland, it's as good as you're ever going to see, and it's, it's, what a finish. City so far have done 17 chances in the opening 45, and Doku into the area, keeps on going, and scores! Well, they had 17 attempts in the first half, didn't score. They've had one in the second and tucked it away. Jeremy Doku, welcome to Manchester City Football Club. The chances are you're going to be a superstar. Alvarez on the edge of the area, lays it off to Bernardo Silva, back it goes to Alvarez again, Alvarez scoops it on, and it's Bernardo Silva to score! Oh, how did that happen? Who cares? Bernardo Silva doesn't, and he races over to the City fans behind the goal, and they lead by two goals to one. Wonderful ball from Alvarez, if we just watch it back, Ariola comes out and he just hooks it past him. His foot really, really high, the outside of his foot just guides it past as it agonisingly passes Ariola. Alvarez, Alvarez goes out wide to Bernardo Silva. City have four against three. Can they find the right pass? Haaland, will he score? You bet he will. At last, I said earlier, I don't think Haaland's going to score today. Actually, deep down, I don't think he thought he was going to score today. But the greatest strikers in world football, they forget the misses. They forget the fact that things haven't gone their way. And eventually, their perseverance gets rewarded. Now, City coming forward. Haaland on the edge of the area. Haaland plays it in field. Alvarez tries to get there. And City have scored already. It didn't take very long. Julian Alvarez has popped it into the back of the net. Well, it's about the same time in which Doku scored the equaliser at the London Stadium. How strange that football does sometimes repeat itself. So it's a City free kick in a crossing position. It's deep. Goalkeeper's missed it. It's gone straight in. The goalkeeper's had an absolute nightmare. He went to punch it. He missed the ball completely. And Alvarez celebrates. And it goes to Rodri, Rodri just outside the penalty area. Trey's a little shot, oh, that is beautiful. What a goal that is from Rodri. He just mazed his way into the edge of the penalty area and then caressed it. He didn't smack it, he caressed it with a little bit of bend and whip round the goalkeeper's palm into the corner of the net. Rodri makes it three and City lead 3-1. So far, I suspect City have had 90% of the ball. Doku comes forward. Rodri now helps it on diagonally. Walker's round the back, lays it off. Foden hits it. That is a quite magnificent goal. That is a simply sensational goal. A lovely diagonal ball up from Rodri. Walker burst clear of the last defender, helped it back to Phil Foden, and Foden clobbered it left-footed into the corner of the net. First time ball was aimed at Awonyi, but City pick it off through Matthias Nunes, little dummy, Foden, Matthias Nunes, this is terrific, Haaland, what a goal, what a goal, if the first goal was superb, the second might just have edged it, you will not see a team as good as this anywhere in world football right now, I promise you, both these goals today tell you everything about the quality that is Manchester City. Hits it, and it has gone in! Julian Alvarez thumped it towards the near post, it was over the wall and parried into the roof of the net by the goalkeeper.
goalkeeper's right arm. It is Wolves 1, City 1, and Julian Alvarez levels the count. Kanji plays it across to Lewis. Lewis helps it out wide to Bernardo Silva. Bernardo Silva coming off the line, on to Lewis. Lewis in the penalty area. Good ball in, Foden hits it. City have their goal. It was only a matter of time. RB Leipzig were all over the place. Their defensive woes have been so apparent. They've just cleared it anywhere, desperately at times. And it is the two and a half thousand City fans in the RB arena who are celebrating as Phil Foden gives the Blues the lead. Guardiola just about on the cusp of the final third. Now Doku's in the final third. Can he get beyond Simica? Plays it into a gap for Alvarez. Alvarez with a bending shot, and City are in front. Julian Alvarez, what a fabulous finish. Round the goalkeeper, into the corner of his net. He's not been on the field long, but it does not matter when you've got the talent of Julian Alvarez. Goal number six of the season. City now lead 2-1 in Leipzig. As Raum puts in the ball, which is headed away well by Walker, up towards Harlan, cushioned into Alvarez. A lot of space to the left for Doku. Is the passing going to be correct? It is. Doku, chance to finish it off. Does do. Leipzig 1, City 3. Wonderful counter-attack goal. And on target for City, two substitutes in the second half. Alvarez made it 2-1. Doku makes it 3-1. And Alvarez has scored. The ball just came into the area, and Alvarez with his left foot guided it. Oh, I think he hit it into the ground, and it bounced beyond the goalkeeper. Goal number seven for him, and he's now netted 17 goals in 17 games here at the Etihad. Now, here's Harlan, first chance for him. On the edge of the area, and scores! Brilliant from Erling Haaland, he's barely touched the ball, he gets it on the edge of the D. Brighton lost possession of the ball in a dangerous part of the pitch, and about three seconds later, Erling Haaland wraps it into the corner, 2-0. Kovacic in the penalty area, goes backwards towards Rodri, Rodri clips in the ball, Diaz with a header, off the bar, Akanji on the rebound, City in front, and it did come of sorts from a set piece, and it's the Swiss international back on home soil, his first goal for City of this season, and it's City 1, young boys nil. So Haaland, a little bit of a runner, not a very long one, steps up, and it goes in. I think Rassioppi got a piece of that, but it still goes into the back of the net. And it's Young Boys 1, City 2. Lewis on to Rodri. Maybe think about shooting Rodri. Instead, it goes to Haaland. Haaland, can he get his shot away? You bet he can. Works it from left to right. And with that bending right foot shot into the roof of the net, City have their three points. And Haaland has his second goal. A chance for City from the penalty spot. Haaland scores. And City are in front in the 191st Manchester derby. And Erling Haaland, who scored a hat-trick, of course, against United last season, is one-third the way to another one here. Grealish now with Fernandes in front of him. Can Grealish get beyond Bruno Fernandes? Outside it goes to Bernardo Silva, clipped in. Haaland, 2-0 City! That is a magnificent goal! Absolutely devastating from the Blues. Clipped out to the left of Bernardo Silva, floated ball to the back post. Once that run and the timing, that reverse ball from Jack's brilliant, then they're all sorts of trouble. Rodri makes the middle of the goal, pulls in, I think it pulled in Johnny Evans, and then Haaland Spear at the back. Rodri arriving in there is what drags in. Oh, it's brilliant. It's so, so good from City. There's so many little bits in there. Ball goes backwards. They must have held the ball for three or four minutes here. Rodri now comes towards the edge of the area. Tries the shot, Rodri. Good save by Onana. Haaland on the rebound. Foden, he does end in a goal. I've lost count of the passes, but it must be treble figures. And City Lee, 3-0. We've got to be over 50, 55, 60 passes before that ball's got into the net. And then brilliant from Haaland. It's just phenomenal from City, it really is.
Doku now on the point of the edge of the area, trying to get into the penalty area. Works a little angle onto Rodri, looks for the one-two, hits the shot! Brilliant goal! Doku one-two with Rodri and poked it in almost like a toe bung. City one and Bournemouth nil, Jeremy Doku. Brilliant and a great reaction from the players. No, how important that was at this stage of the game. Great little one boot. Doku just drops his shoulder, just comes inside on Mepham. But Doku's got to take great credit for being inventive. On the edge of the area, onto Doku again. Doku with a little step over, comes into the box, goes outside, goes inside. On it goes to Bernardo Silva. Jeremy Doku's having a blinder, and City lead by two goals to nil. And Jeremy Doku, who scored the first, was absolutely sensational in creating the second. Doku in a shooting position. Hits the shot well, 3-0! Jeremy Doku. I'm not sure if that might have just taken a ricochet on the way through, but it doesn't matter to Doku. He takes the applause of the supporters and he deserves to melt in those applause. I'm thinking that might actually be an Akanji goal, yeah. It did that. I thought it took a deflection because it did seem to go in a weird way wide to Doku, Doku up against Aarons, Doku keeps on going, on it goes towards Foden, Foden! 4-0, Doku with another assist, City with another goal. Just thinking there that that's when, when City are the most dangerous, when the opposition have had a chance, once Doku gets you, you're in trouble, you back you into the box, but it's this here from Foden, brilliant. Lovely ball out to Bernardo Silva. Bernardo Silva rampaging forward. Chance for a fifth for Bernardo Silva. Goes inside, scoops it in, off the line. Well, Bernardo Silva says it cross. Well, it has now, and City lead by five goals to one. Bernardo Silva jinks inside, flicks it over the top of the goalkeeper. It's cleared off the line by Zabani, thumped in by Nunes, but I think it was already Bernardo Silva's goal. Foden out wide, Nunes into the gap for Bob, Bob hard and low and number six, Nathan Ake practically on the floor, heads it into the back of the net, Oscar Bob with an assist, Nathan Ake with a header and it's City six, Bournemouth one. Takes a deep breath as he so often does, has a pretty short run-up for a penalty taker and scores easily, very, very easily. Vardy, Vardy on into the gap for Grealish. Grealish takes it away from a defender and then waves, pass out wide to Foden. Foden into the area, goes Foden, keeps going, scores a beauty. Took it on from the right-wing position got beyond the last defender and bent it round the goalkeeper into the side of the net and right on the half-time whistle, City have a two-goal lead. City coming forward, Haaland on the edge of the D, works an angle, hits the shot, scores an absolutely wonderful goal. Erling Haaland, he span away got to the edge of the D and clobbered a left foot shot into the roof of the net and by my reckoning it's the third time he scored outside the area since he became a City player. He's taken that very short run up that is a trademark of his, he steps up and sends Sanchez the wrong way and City lead at Stamford Bridge through an Erling Haaland penalty and it is Chelsea nil, City one. Corner goes short. Bernardo Silva with a different angle, pops in the cross. Great header, Akanji, 2-2! Brilliant, brilliant. Talking about set plays again. And the detail that's in this is they're working on this every single game. Fantastic from the, um, the set play coaches at Manchester City. And Foden now into the final third goes City. Alvarez on his outside, here is Alvarez, Haaland, 3-2, bundled over the line, but that is a terrific move from City. The timing of the pass is brilliant from Foden, this ball just here is brilliant, and then once it goes in there, you're just going to bundle it in, 
and it's brilliant. What a goal from City. Foden steps in, Kovacic, Haaland, Kovacic, little shot blocked. On it goes, Rodri strikes it, deflection into the back of the net. Brilliant. Who else is going to arrive? Who else is anticipating the play as it's building, that something might drop? Forget the deflection. It's the momentum of Rodri. It's then the shot, the quality to get the, the pace on the ball. And then, all right, a bit fortuitous, but take nothing away from Rodri. Ake now tries to go outside. Lovely dribble from Ake. On he goes to Haaland. 1 0. City score. Haaland's first chance of the game. Ake with the set. Haaland with the finish. City 1. Liverpool 0. Not only is it a big goal, it's also Erling Haaland's 50th, his 50th Premier League goal for City. And he's beaten all the records previously for any player getting to 50 Premier League goals. In fact, he smashed the previous record and it's only in his 48th Premier League game. Foden's on the ball now, he slips it through, Haaland's down the middle, Haaland! City are back in the game! Lovely play by Foden, wonderful finish from Haaland and the Blues are right back in this game and who else but Erling Haaland with a goal. And Phil keeps finding little pockets, it's only a matter of time before he gets on the half turn and threads another ball. Played it into Foden, Foden in the box, Foden 2-2! Two -two! Wonderful finish from Phil Foden. Seconds after Andy Morrison predicted that he would be the key, and he most definitely is. Just found a little pocket, and I think it's Guardiol. There, he's just in that little half space there now. And I just said, take the ball. Brilliant, fantastic. And a massive pat on the back for Andy Morrison to see that early. <laughs> Lewis and Ake and Rodri and Lewis and Doku and Doku towards the edge of the area. Plays it to Foden, Foden across the face of the goal, and City score! And Julian Alvarez turns the match on its head. One goal for Foden, two assists for Foden, and Alvarez maybe has won the game for the Blues. Yeah, it looked all too easy, but again, you know, Phil Foden this second half has been, it's just been magnificent. Great composure from Alvarez at the end. Two goals and assists for Phil Foden. whipped in by Alvarez, Haaland doesn't get to it, own goal, an own goal, City have equalised already. Just that little delay from Bernardo, Alvarez puts it into the position, Haaland might have just got a touch. Haaland helps it on to Doku, Doku on the edge of the area, Doku plays it in, Alvarez, Foden must score! Foden does score, Spurs just couldn't contain them for long and the Blues are in front. What a goal from City, great teamwork, one touch passing, moving it around, good runs, very unselfish for many players that we talk about so much. Basuma loses it to Rodri, Rodri's on his feet, on it goes to Haaland, Haaland, Grealish! City three, Spurs two, that might just do it. Well, that's what he needed, Jack Grealish. Great position, great determination from Rodri in the build-up. Really good runs, and then as the ball comes across, his eyes light up. It's a simple one for Grealish as he just strokes it into the far corner. Roger well, Walker looked as though he was fouled. The referee's way play on because Rodri is advancing and then he lost the ball. And then it's a brilliant goal. Bernardo Silva. That is a wonderful left foot drive. Rodri made a darting run in towards the penalty area. He kind of got boxed off as he got into that position. It broke for Bernardo Silva. And Alvarez is darting forward, and the ball goes across the face of the goal, and Grealish puts it in, 2-1 to the Blues. Alvarez plays it across, Grealish puts it in, and City lead by two goals to one. Matthias Nunes helps it out by to Michael Hamilton. Michael Hamilton in the penalty area, little jink round the back, and hits it into the roof of the net! Welcome! 
Micah Hamilton to first team action at City. You will never forget the night that you made your Champions League debut and scored a goal as well. What a goal, what a night for Micah Hamilton. Lewis, Bob, getting towards the final third. Bob stepping in, keeps on going, is in the penalty area. Still Oscar Bob, brilliant goal. Absolutely magnificent goal from Oscar Bob. The academy boys are graduating in style. It's 2-0 in Belgrade. So Calvin Phillips looking to score his first ever City goal, his first ever Champions League goal. Can he make it 3-1? You bet he can. Absolute delight for everyone who's wanted Calvin Phillips to have moments to savour as a Manchester City player. Grealish now goes backwards to Diaz. Diaz, plenty of room in front of Diaz. Plays it across to Foden, Foden into the gap. Grealish, 1-0. It was a matter of patience. A lovely slip ball through. And Grealish, who scored against Luton, scored against Spurs, has now scored against Crystal Palace. Great appreciation from Phil Foden, just in a little half space again. Always seems at the moment that Phil Foden's that person who can pick the lot. Yeah, it's great play. Now Greedish comes forward, on it goes towards Foden and then almost reaches Lewis and it does! And Rico Lewis turns it in! It's his first ever Premier League goal! What a week for the academy! Stars in the making in midweek in Belgrade. Rico Lewis is already a star and he's just scored his first ever Premier League goal. Maybe Matias Nunes can do something here. He helps it out wide to Bernardo Silva. Goes for the return. Low ball in, it's turned into an own goal. Oi Braten turns it into his own net. Luka advances towards the halfway line. Plays a lovely ball actually down the middle. Komacic is through here. Can he make it too? You bet he can. First city goal for Matteo Komacic. go long it's not a bad ball actually and a really good darting run by Matias Nunes Nunes now tries to get a shot away it's parried only as far as Bernardo Silva and his shot deflects into the net and City lead by three goals to nil Straight to Ake in the centre of the pitch, and indeed Ake decides to have a shot. It's against the post, and it's chested into the net by Alvarez. And unless he's in an offside position, City are in front in 44 seconds. Ake hit the shot, it came off the post. Alvarez chested it over the line. Foden into the box, there's a deflection, and he goes in. Foden was in the middle, he played across, but it's turned in by Nino into his own net. As Alvarez comes into the area, it's right across the face of the goal and Foden slides it over the line. It broke for Alvarez, he played a low cross into the central area of the pitch and Foden slid it over the line. Matias Nunes is in the right wing position, he's getting towards the edge of the area, he's in the penalty area, on it goes to Alvarez, Alvarez makes it 4, 4-0, four he scored the opener, he's now got City's fourth, there wasn't really any lingering doubt about the destiny of the FIFA Club World Cup, but if there was, it has now completely dissipated. The best team in the land and all the world, they've got all five trophies, the big five, what a year! Grealish on the edge of the area, plays it across to Foden. Foden helps it along to Bernardo Silva. Bernardo Silva in the right wing position, plays it in field to Foden. Foden steps in, hits the shot, in! City equalised, Phil Foden hit the shot from about 20 metres out beyond his international colleague Pickford and it is 1-1 at Goodison Park. So Alvarez 
puffs out the cheeks, steps up, and it goes under the legs. It wasn't the best penalty you've ever seen in your life, but Pickford got legs on it, couldn't stop it going in. Of course, the last few games that they've drawn, they've conceded goals late on. They need a third here. Ball breaks for City on the edge of the area. Bernardo Silva's put it into the empty net. Pickford made an absolute howler, tried to just pass it out on the edge of his own area, gave it straight to Bernardo Silva, Pickford was in no man's land and the ball's curled from, well, about 20 metres from goal, beyond the despairing Pickford and into the back of the net. England's number one goalkeeper makes a howler, but Bernardo Silva wraps up the victory. And now forward comes Rodri, Rodri to the edge of the area, Rodri hits the shot in the corner, that is a sensational goal by Rodri, he skipped over a couple of challenges, got to the edge of the area, and he know, you know what he's like in those positions, he doesn't smash it into the net, he passes it into the net, and he has just scored the opening goal. It is already his fifth goal of the season, his fourth in the Premier League, he only got four goals in total last season. Bob tried to get a little gap, he's got one on the left-hand side. Gets towards the edge of the area, but uh, plays it in, good ball, Foden now, great pass, City will score, that is deli absolutely delightful. Oscar Bob played a huge part in it, into the gap for Foden, slid it across the face of the goal and Alvarez prodded it in. Enormous credit to Oscar Bob and Phil Foden.